We gotta get these tickets on sale. They have to be out soon. We gotta make this a sellout. Holy. I'm pretty stressed, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've got just under two days now, like maybe a day and a half. It doesn't seem like it will all come together until it does, there's so many pieces. I've been feeling really emotional lately. Fuck, just a ticket too. Like they say, man, you know you sell tickets, you perform to crookets. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of planning to do. I'm excited about planning. I've never played at Tuning Fork before. I've been there, seen some gigs. We'll see how the stage goes. I hope you guys like my crazy creation. Crazy creation? Crazy creation. We're just getting ready to get MC Tony to come through to our studio. So yeah, chuck some lights on. Make it look pretty. excited, man. Make it look, make it look beautiful. Hey. I'm Bali. Trey. Yeah. Hugs. <laughs> nice to meet you. And your sweet J. Hi, bro. Nice, nice to, meet. to meet you. I got fucking heaps of goals. Man, just to make it out of the hoodie, eh? you know, just um, yeah. show the youngins around here that you can do something, eh? I've been in the music industry for well, nearly 20 years, actually. And my sort of forte is that I am a drum and bass MC. I freestyle on stage with the DJ. I've played all around the world and lots of different festivals. Fuck on stage? So you freestyle while you're on stage? Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. So it's, 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 yeah. I got signed at the age of 24. I left New Zealand and um, it was quite scary. I made a few mistakes, but at the end of it, I, I came out with seven albums since I've moved back to New Zealand and won a New Zealand Music Award Best Electronic Artist. The point of me being here is that you guys have obviously got a big show coming up. Yeah. Right here, yeah. yeah. People like myself, Mellow Downs are playing it alongside you. Yeah. I am super excited to see what you do. I know, it's to play alongside of you too. <laughs> you want me to sing with, yep. with your beat? Yep. Okay, all right, yeah. I'm keen. Just do a verse. Yeah, 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 okay, I'll do a verse. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> hey, ho. Ooh. I love showing young people their potential and just kind of showing them that they are capable and that they are able to extend themselves out of their comfort yeah. zone. But I gotta maintain, gotta keep my head up. Oh, oh. I'm gonna sing that freestyle for you. Let you know that you can do it too. Get out the hood, cause trust me, you're good. You got the goods, oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, so take it away, yeah. It ain't safe, you ain't like me, yeah. They have enough talent and they seem to be really ambitious and want to know and want to learn. That's all you need. It's just that fire in your belly, you know, regardless of where you're from. And I'm rolling now with Trey and Jay and I hope that you gon' take it away. Cause the mic, the invisible mic is right here. With the freshest dopest droppers raps, you gon' hear this here. If I give it to you, your breath is your weapon and your words are your power. So yeah, yeah. if you think about different ways that you can say things, different, different new words you can bring into the conversation, what rhymes with conversation? Nation. I'm really interested to see the two of them performing together on stage. They had a lot of dynamics going on in the garage together, um, and I think that will only be heightened in front of an audience. It's so nice to meet you. You're so talented. I can't wait to see you guys on the first. Yeah. We're gonna have a wicked night, yeah? Definitely. Yeah. Now that was solid, I you know. Um, she's done so free, she's straight up, you know, straight she up so, as. You know, she like... gives you the, her real feedback on how she feels about your music. We have today's rehearsal. We've got a lot to go through. And one more rehearsal after this. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Just let that sink in a bit. This is the band I threw together with all the elites. Uh, uh, where we've decided five seconds ago that we're going to be called the Crescendo Mystics. <laughs> For the, the chorus, I want like a little, some, some jabs. Some stabs? Some stabs. Some stabs, some stabs. yeah, sorry, my terminology. I want a little breakdown from, yeah. from the man Rory. We're just working on the song that I've been doing for the gig. This is the first time that I've, I've been with the band, so that's the first time I've been able to like see it come to life and be here and have my input and things like that. Other than that, am I, am I missing anything, boys? No, we're good. Bro. We all follow you. Yeah. Nice, she is. Yeah, I got mad just issues. My biggest thing when it comes to anyone, like friendship, relationship, anyone, is loyalty. Uh, Teo, do you actually... This is our first time meeting. It's lovely meeting you. Do you trust us? Well, I mean, there's a there's a common theme within this band of, of uh, distrust. <laughs> that, I can, that I can sense. Yeah, she had lips of an angel. Kiss, it was dangerous. Like it was fatal. A lip was still not able to get it. But I would pay for the bill. Like I could save you from fear. The thing about Dave is, like, you can just tell that he has everyone's best intentions. You know, it's beautiful that there's people out there that want to help people feel good. Dave is just someone that deserves everything that he gets because he's just full of, he's full of positivity, you know, he's full, full of laughs. He's, yeah, he's just a legend. One thing he'll need to overcome is that trust issues. He has a lot of people around him right now that truly believe in him, but the abandonment issues that he might have makes it hard to build that relationship with him. I'd like to help him overcome that. And my way of doing that is being the opposite of what he's been through, being that consistent person. Yeah, it's going mean. I'm very happy. There's still lots to do before the gig, but we're getting there. Thank you to Crescendo Mystics, beautiful, talented band. Yo, yo, yo. How are you guys? Good. I just got an update on the sales, and we've had a fraction of what we need in terms of ticket sales to cover our costs. We've been really struggling. I've been worried. We're about a week out, so I'm feeling a bit nervous around how many we've sold and how many we need to sell. I just don't see us covering those costs. I want to table postponing the big event but I'm not sure how the young people are going to respond. Yeah, I wonder how the young people will take it. All of them have been really looking forward to, to the gig almost as a celebration mm -hmm. to all that hard work is all, has all paid off. We could still host a gig for them. We have other venues that we could utilise. But, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of gutted for them because I, I know that they wanted to be up there, you know, on their big stage. Mahima, Mateo, we've been geeing them up for a big event. So I think we'll just have to make sure we're, you know, that we're really communicating with them on what's going on. Mm. When you come from a background of things not going your way or people leading you down certain things, I don't want us to be a part of that, you know, that part of their life. I feel pretty gutted. I think just because we had that vision and I could just totally see everyone up there on stage. But at the same time, I, there's a bit of relief because besides ticket sales, there's a lot of other pieces that uh, need to be fall in place still that haven't quite, you know, had enough time. I propose that we still go ahead and find one of our local venues. Yeah. Um, set it up, um, start fresh, get a um, agenda going for the day, plan around that. Yeah, they can practice uh, some of the stage presence, which a lot of them have been working on. Um, yeah, performing to a crowd. It's going to be different every time. Mm. Um, and also performing under pressure. I mean, what a change up. <laughs> Things happen, so shit happens. Like, it's just sometimes you've got to figure out how to move forward from that. Mm. But it's not the end of their success. That's, this is nowhere near the end of it, yeah. So I just read Dave's message that the gig is getting postponed. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to sell enough tickets for the show to go ahead. And it's been quite the slap in the face. <laughs> I'm really feeling the loss and the disappointment right now. 
I'm feeling really emotional about it. I, I'm scared to tell my dancers and my choreographer. Dave's asked everyone to have a meeting and I can't be there, even though I know this is when we really need each other. And here we are. All right. So hi guys, it's the homie. Hi everyone. Beautiful day. Hi, in spite of what we've, um, you know, the, the email that we sent through, fortunately, um, you know, we're, we're still able to have it um, at the tuning fork, um, be it a little bit more scaled down. Some of the artists that we wanted to perform, unfortunately, we can't get them on board. Uh, but some of the other guys um, have, have still put their hand up and said, yeah, we, we still want to play. So the ticket price has been lowered, so make it more of a Fano event. But yeah, we wanted to get your thoughts on how everyone's feeling about downscaling the original idea. It's just like a bummer, you know, like, it was definitely something that I feel like all of us sort of, like, believed in, you know, it's like finding out that Santa's not real. There's not any one person to blame, so it's just like, you know, it is what it is. Just got to keep moving forward. I just feel it's um, too last minute -y. You know, this shit should have been sorted, you know, way before, like, quite like a month ago. You know, like a week on out, just before the gig, and you know, shit's changed. New things up. everywhere, right? Really. Like, it's, it's not a stable gig right now. It could be better than it is what it is now. I guess the greatest learning experience is in the industry, and we're all the failures. Like, every time we failed, we learned something new, and the lessons that we learned were very, very important. I feel like I'm more excited about the gig now yep. than before, because it's, like, more of a challenge. That, like, you know, what can we do to fix it? It's yeah. more, like, yeah. on the run instead of just sitting back, like, oh, it's going to happen. Yeah. There's been quite a few changes in the past couple of days. We were um, looking at alternative locations, but we've been lucky enough to be able to still hold um, the event at the Tuning Fork, which is great. Uh, we do have to host the show a little bit earlier in the day and minus uh, um, a few of the artists that we really, really wanted to perform. But at least the celebration that we're wanting to have at the end of all of this is, um, is still gonna happen. Um, just on a smaller scale. Should you grab the tickets? The physicals? Oh. Yeah. After all the stress and the drama and the, all the planning, for it not to happen, for it to be, like, pfft, it's such a waste after all we've been through. How many do you need? Ten? All right, sure. So what's a few more stresses, a few more pressure? No worries, let's just get it done. Judy got yours from yesterday. And do you want extras? Give you five, yes. But do you guys want extra five? Have you confirmed anyone that uh, invited people or how many people you've people. They just had a hard time trying to get the tickets. Hopefully the physical tickets will be easier. Growing up, before my struggles, it impacted my life, you know, negatively as well as positively. Do I give these to the people that already bought them? No, no, no. So cool. people who haven't bought them yet. Okay. I've come so far and, and been quite successful because of my coping mechanism that I've developed. One thing we need is a photographer. So I'm gonna call my mate uh, and see if she could do it for free for us. Ahoy! Hey! I was wondering um, if you're able to just like take some, some photos of us. Yes! Yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah. nice! Running events at Crescendo, I definitely feel responsible, you know, to make sure everything goes smoothly. Everything. We're so grateful for the fact that you're able to jump on and um, help us out. No worries, that is gonna be, us creatives gotta keep um, supporting each other no matter what. <laughs> all Preach. Day. All day. Preach. Yeah. I'll email you all the details. Sweet, that's so, Thank you so much. Okay. Amelia, she's a very, very caring person, so I can understand her wanting to take the lead. It's for the benefit of everybody else that she's been working so hard with. I imagine in bigger events, this kind of shit would happen to people. <laughs> like, so I'm kind of just like trying not to be emotionally impacted by the whole like change and everything. I have returned with the. Uh... Oh, yo, we go and put some posters up, boys. Yeah, yeah. This group, outdoor activity, really just got all the stress out. I think we'll put it off easy. There's tons that can go wrong on the day, but there are people behind the scenes who are compromising to make this show possible. So I think we're all going into it with the right mentality, literally expecting something to go wrong. <laughs> yeah.
until three days ago, everything went crazy. But, man, it's been a nightmare. No! What's happening? Yeah, we're running behind. Trey and Jay aren't here either. <laughs> I'm mainly worried about being off key, bro. I'm missing a band, aren't I? Alice G! Freaking out. Freaking out. Is everything running smoothly? No. What am I going to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> I got beef for my lower self. I might take him out. Give a fuck if he run his mouth. That's what this about. In the cut, middle fingers out. It's a ground and pound. Hit a sound. When he come around, better lay him down. I got beef for my self-esteem. Need up the heat. Japanese. What I eat, I turn to a beat, smoke the tree, feel like I'm asleep, I be in the dream, let's just sleep, I know when the meets, I'm too fucking free.